Okay, I want to do a quick follow up on a project to show you guys something that can be helpful for a lot of you, I think, who are looking to do this same type of style of hardscape. So we get a lot of calls now for driveways and for patios and hardscape where people want these individual pads. So this is a project that we did. Some of you may have seen some of the other videos posted on it, but the client wanted individual concrete pads with spaces between them so that they could put, they weren't sure what they wanted to do. They were considering putting grass or turf, also DG, otherwise known as decomposed granite. They thought about the dark gray river rocks and what they settled on was this pea gravel, which is a really nice look. The problem with this and what I tell people all the time when they're thinking about doing something like this, when you put this between these pads and you walk on it, this stuff comes out really easily. And you usually end up with a mess with pebbles all over your new concrete, it tracks in the house. So it's just not something that's very user-friendly or maintenance-free when you put it in. But I suggested to this client, since he wanted to do it, to use what's called mulch glue or, or uh, gravel glue, rock glue. You can Google it. There are a lot of different companies that make it. You can see I run my hand over it. I rub my boot over it and almost nothing comes out. Now, if you mix this glue in with the gravel and you put it in, these don't move at all. Or if you put two or three coats on top after you do it, you have almost no rocks that will come out of here. Okay, so let me show you the difference. This is just gravel with nothing applied to it. See how it moves very easily? It's, it's a really great alternative for people who want to have some type of small aggregate like pebbles, but they don't want the mess of it. So this is my tip for anybody who's going to do this. I always say don't do it unless you have a way to really keep all of your rocks, your pebbles in place. And this is a great way to do it.